a lame sermon illustration clip that I haven't seen, and I suspect you haven't either. <laughs> That's a no-brainer because that is moralistic preaching. You can try all you want to get to the top of the ladder. You'll never arrive. Instead, you'll simply be exhausted. More than that, according to 2 Peter 2, your latter end will be worse than the first. That's what moralistic preaching does. Remember the correct response to the gospel is repentance and faith. Two sides of the same coin, the two wings that must fly us to the Savior. It's a repentant faith, a turning from sin's faith. Now, there are people who are false converts or who get really angry at God who lacked one of them. A lot of people lack repentance these days because, well, the American gospel has kind of erased that word from the dictionary. Instead, there are people who believe they don't repent, but there are some people who repent but don't believe. And those are the people in 2 Peter 2. For whatever reason, they want to clean up their life. They want things to go better. They think, hmm, the claims of Christianity could help me out. I'm going to do that. So what happens to this noble effort? Well, they're like the dog on that slide. They're trying, and they're trying, and they're trying, and they're working, and they're doing, and it's exhausting. And then something happens. The slide collapses. And all of a sudden, that dog, I'm kind of mixing my lame sermon illustrations, is angry. And that's what happens to people who try to respond to moralistic preaching. They get exhausted, something goes wrong, and then they shake a fist at God. Hey, I've been trying here, and this is how you repay me. That is the danger of a dog trying to run up a slide or moralistic preaching.